I've been in paleo for about 11 years now, and one of the first people I worked with was Bill Stein. He stopped by the Dinosaur Resource Center recently, and I had a chance to sit down and talk to him about a Tyrannosaurus Rex jaw he found. Now, I look at this, and, and I think dentary. Now, we as human beings, we're mammals, so when we say dentary, we talk about the entire lower jaw. Because on us, mm -hmm. it's all one bone. But on reptiles, they've got a lot of different ones. And when we say the dentary, we mean just the tooth-bearing element of the lower jaw. Correct. So yeah. this is Mandible. huge, yeah. but this is not the entire lower jaw. No, you'd, have, you'd have the serangular, right. the articular. The, yeah. so, so when we hold it back, we're looking at a lower jaw that's what, like this big? Yes. Like I, I have to stretch my arms out. This, yes. this is a big dinosaur. Yeah, this is a full-grown T-Rex. This, this, is, this is like... So this would probably be from about a 35 to 37 footer. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have got some awesome pathologies on this thing, a lot, a lot of really interesting things going on here. Uh, in the back of the jaw, we've got what appears to be a, a, a re-healed bite. Um, we've got a dent right here, this raised scar tissue around it, and then dr coming down from that, we've got some another interesting scrapes coming down here. You've got another dent there. There's three this one right here? Yeah, there's three of them in a row. And then over here, you've got something weird going on, too. It looks like it might possibly have been a, a re-healed place where a tooth had impacted the dentary. Um, probably when it was younger or something, a couple, couple of tyrannosaurs tussling over something. Cool, uh, so know. he got bit by another Rex. Yeah, yeah, being a Rex was probably a pretty difficult life. Now over here, you've got something really cool. We're talking about all this up here? This nasty thing right here. Now, you've got at least two large concretionary masses that have formed inside what appears to be a hole or depression here and you've got a swelling of scar tissue all the way around it and coming out the very bottom there. And now this has got, uh, there's three or four different possibilities as to what this is. It could have been a bite that was infected and was, was kind of trying to heal itself. Okay. Um, you know, maybe another Tyrannosaur came in, just caught it with one of the front maxillary uh, or dentary teeth or something like that. Uh, a lot of Tyrannosaur jaws, though, that you find tend to have these holes you find uh, this in modern bird jaws, where, where this, this protozoa or whatever it is begins, gets into the jaw and creates these holes in the jaw. They like bore through the bone? They bore through the bone, Because yeah. it definitely looks infected. And so that's, that is one of the prevailing um, hypotheses as to, as to what causes those things. Another possibility is we just have a, a tooth infection. Um, it's possible that he needed a root canal. Uh, yeah, you know, dinosaurs T-Rex replaced its teeth over and over again. Every time it, it tried to, it bit into something. You know, it might lose a tooth. Um, you know, you figure uh, a T-Rex would go through probably close to 1,500 to 3,000 teeth in a lifetime if it's replacing its tooth once or twice a year. Um, Each one know, of these teeth would get replaced once or twice a year. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, once or twice a year. Uh, and what you had was a tooth gets a infected. Tooth, yeah, bites into something. A tooth gets broken or not quite able to pop out of there. The other tooth is trying to push it out. It gets infected. Something gets jammed in there, and then you have what's this? It's called a fistula, uh, mandibular fistula. Human beings can get these things, right? Uh, where it just busts through the dentary and just it get all newsy and nasty and good stuff. And gives your T Rex. An even fouler temper than it already had. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so pretty cool. We CT scan this thing, and we can see that uh, you know it didn't have any teeth at all in in it that were erupted, but we do have some unerupted teeth based on the CT scan. Um, so, so there there are more down inside the jaw that you just can't see exactly when you work on it. Yeah, and you'll see the infection kind of goes around in the the bases of the the tooth sockets. Ow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and as always, stop by and see us at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado.